was homeschooled. Um, it was relatively okay, but hard because I was really into sports. So being pulled out at 12 to be at home wasn't... The idea of it was fun. But it teaches you self-discipline throughout the years you do it on your own. My sister uh, was already enrolled here. She found out about the school from her own friends who's already, who was already here. So I ended up uh, just checking her school out. And long story short, I got there. I got in. <laughs> just to get it, I got in. And I started ASAP and that was my first time in school after eight years, which was a very big shock. So I've never thought I would be in the hospitality industry. Although I was curious of people, like being homeschooled, you, you do just develop a curiosity of what it is like to be with other people and stuff. But when I went he, uh, to Android Colleges, I said, I'm gonna take you know, uh, business management, um, the course, and I want to see what I specialize in. And, um, I was interviewed by Mr. Danny Paris, and that's, I'll never forget, because from then on, you know, we, we hit it off pretty well. And he was like, you're not a business guy, because I just, I've been in this industry too long, you're a hotel guy and maybe you might want to switch. So I said, you know, what have I got to lose? I got accepted, I don't even know what I'm really getting into. Fine, hospitality industry. Then I went to an internship in Spain, in Barcelona for six months. Really loved it. Um, but not to, not to discredit also, like it's, it's hard work, but it was just a lot of fun. Well, I think Enderon College has prepared me more than the, what the classes are offered. It's um, the actual practice of the industry, like just being exposed, giving you constant exposure. And for me, the biggest factor is the, the network. Um, the professors um, have all been from the industry, so they teach from the heart and from actually being there. It's not philosophically taught, it's from experience, you know. And it really gave me the confidence to do what I'm doing now. I own and run a bed and breakfast in Dumaguete, so this was something I've always wanted to do. I wanted to operate something small and, and niche and be an active owner, um, always being there with the guests, be more like personalized service. I feel like that's something I want to offer uniquely. So it's, it's working really well. It's kind of like a private tight niche thing, you know, which is, which is nice and it's working really well.